This is a week before Christmas and we have now finished setting up for our first sale of the new year at the granary here. So it's going to be the first time that our sale is going to be held over two days. The sales last year were just building and building to so, such an extent that actually we couldn't manage to quite sell it all in the day. So we've spread it over two days from now on. So what we're going to do is on the Wednesday we're going to sell everything, uh, all the small items, sort of table lots, collectibles and china. And pictures and then on the on the Thursday we're going to sell all the furniture and I'll show you the layout of the building sort of show you what we've done but it's a bit of a work in progress at the moment but what we've done with the top floor if you just have a, a quick scan round is that this is now where we have all the small table lots all the ceramics and metalware and pictures um, and that's still being developed at the moment and I'll just show you around what we have up here so this is about a thousand lots up here of items that, that'll be sold on the Wednesday, uh, all on, live online on the sale room and easy live auctions as well. Um, we'll just have a quick scour around the, t the tables around here. So masses of interesting stuff this time. And it's one of the main things that sort of caught your eye when you look around are these enamel signs, which are all over the place. There's some fantastic old enamel signs here all from the same house we cleared a place and there's a whole collection of them soon all around the walls here lovely sunlight soap sign there um, and we'll see them as we go around the room on the tables here but they're all without reserve and fantastic things but all genuine old enamel signs um, what have we got on the tables first tables here we've got old french fireman's helmets here a miniature can't believe uh, a grown man would actually have a head that size, but uh, they're both French fireman's helmets there, nice old ones. And um, it's a Victorian military sword there. And uh, enamel signs there, all being sold individually, but um, should be very popular things. And we'll carry on around the tables here. So a very nice early um, sampler here. So this is 1789, the date of this one. Betty Pamel, March 27th, 1789. Isn't that lovely? With its, with a picture of a country house. It's a little bit faded, but um, in original condition. Well, apart from the fading, original frame as well. It's a nice thing. And carry on around here. Very nice French um, onyx and Chamblevé enamel um, mantel clock here. They call these a four glass mantel clock. Um, it's a regulator. And there's the original pendulum as well, which is mercury. And again, enamel. It's a nice thing. Very nice Victorian stick stand at the back there. Sort of 1880, 1890 cast iron stick stand. Something like that. I'd expect to make sort of 60 to 80, may, maybe 100 or so. More interesting enamel signs here. Look at that lovely. So Shane's got the hole in it here. But beautiful sign that. Lovely bright colours. And masses more on the tables down here. We've got about 500 lots of metalware to start with in the sale. Um, look at this. This is a proper shipbuilder's um, model of the SS Carolyn. So it's a handmade model um, steamship here. Would have been for the shipyard. And that's a wonderful thing in a nice mahogany case as well. So that should be several hundred, three or four hundred at least, I would have thought, for that one. Good quality thing. A wild boar's head. <laughs> Never know what's coming up next, do you? Step there. Uh, more enamel signs. Wind cycles. Graduated payment scheme system, sorry. <laughs> Lots of more swords. Very interesting collection. So Fries chocolate down there and round trees cocoa. Very nice. And just carry on up here. Uh, 
That's a wonderful sign there. Look at that double-sided shell. That'll be a good one. Should be very desirable. It's got some overpainting here where it's been chipped. A little bit of chipping there, but that's a very rare sign. So that'll be one of the uh, hotly contested ones. Got some interesting photographs here. So there's a box of these um, photo albums which will come in privately. And in here we've got um, photographs of Churchill. Um, all connected with the British Legion, all these um, albums. And this album, again, is connected with the British Legion, but it's, it involves their trip to Germany in about 1936. Um, and there are photographs of the meeting Hitler in here, which I won't show you. <laughs> this is um, a bit of modern technology here, the Mignon typewriter. This is a high-speed technology here. This is the early... Well, this is what they thought was a progression. So basically, you just use this pointer to point to the letter you want to type. So, M, cap capital M, small a, and so on. Oh. You have to put a bit of paper in, obviously. <laughs> It'll take you all day to type a letter on that. It's interesting, isn't it? This is our new rostrum. Still all needs tidying up at the moment. And pictures on the wall here, which all come at the end of the Wednesday sale. And then we carry on over here. And we've got all the ceramics over here. And then we've got silver and plate and cabinets at the back there. And by next month, that will all be redeveloped as well with new display cabinets over there. Just wasn't time to do it in time for this next sale. So that'll be, that'll be over there. I'll just show you a couple of things over here. Cabinets. There's some lovely things. It really is worth scouring through the website. This is, I've never seen one of these before, but it's by Morden & Co. And it's a little perfume bottle with a silver tail. And it, it's, it's stamped Morden & Co. So that's about 1900, the hallmarks on there. Beautiful little thing there. And this is a three-piece tea set, which is solid silver. It's Victorian, about 1880, with an ivory handle. But a beautiful set there. Well, that's the teapot. There's the cream jug. And there's the sugar bowl. Solid silver. I just think that's going to be about £300 or so. Candle snuffer scissors. They're solid silver as well. A little bit bent, unfortunately. And that's, that's how you trim the candle wick as well, that one there. There's lots of interesting things here. Best way to view this really is to scour through the website because there's photographs of everything on the website. And you can see the whole lot on there. So we're just gonna pause and we'll show you the furniture downstairs. So this floor now is purely furniture. So um, where we had Lots of metalware display tables here now is all filled with furniture. So this section of the sale will be on the Thursday, starting at 10 in the morning, and that'll be all day. So we've, we have about uh, six or 700 lots of furniture to sell um, on that Thursday. So we'll just have a quick look around and show you the, the lay of the room here. So there's some lovely antique furniture here. It's a nice Moorish um, easel there. That's very nice, isn't it? It's quite a... Quite a rare thing. Uh, with mother of pearl inlay and text across the top there. Um, French bedside cupboards with marquetry inlay. Quite a mixture of um, retro and antique furniture in, in the room here. One of the star lots of the sale this time is this beautiful desk here. Well worth showing you that one. So. This was made by Edwards and Roberts of London. Um, it has their stamp inside the drawer, which is the name you want to see on this sort of quality of desk. It has these very nice tapered pedestals here, all marquetry inlaid. It's absolute top quality marquetry in there. Look at that drawer lining there as well, all mahogany. And there's the quality of the marquetry. Beautiful thing. 
look at that um, tapered sides to the drawers as well for the, for the tapered pedestals. And it's marker tree inlaid on the side as well. Um, just needs a bit of restoring really and, and um, repolishing. But it's been sat in the same house probably for the last, well, since it was new in about 1900. But that's a wonderful thing. Um, I think the estimate is between five and 800, but it's the sort of thing that probably 10 years ago I would have expected to be a couple of thousand or so, but um, things aren't quite the same as they were then. But I still think it'll be a hotly contested piece of furniture, so that's quite exciting. Um, we'll just have another perspective view of, of this area. So lots of furniture down here, some antique, um, sort of a late 17th or early 18th century chest of drawers over there. And retro sofas here in the front row. And then rows of furniture over here. So Georgian chest of drawers behind you here. With a brush and slide. Oops, <laughs> detachable handle. <laughs> That's intentional, that handle. It's meant to come off. Um, and um, all sorts. There's so much to look at. It's really interesting sale. as well. These look like um, Robin Day type um, leather revolving chairs. I don't think they are Robin Day though. And there we are, so masses of furniture. And then at the back of the room, again, rows of it down here. It's slightly piled a bit higher down here. But lots of things to look at, and rugs. We've got about um, about forty lots of rugs in this sale. So here are a couple, and they're all over the floors, but they're in the furniture section of the sale as well. So we're going to now just pause again, and we'll have a quick look at the bottom floor now. And then this is the lower ground floor furniture area where there's about another 200 lots of furniture down here. So this is pretty crammed as well, but there are some very interesting things down here. So well worth a look through. Everything is photographed. So um, again, worth a scan through on the website. Still needs to be finished setting up, but we'll just wander through. I, this is amazing. Look at this old, um, probably started out like it's a kitchen cabinet. It's turned into someone's workshop um, workbench. But look at this, it's completely worn away on the top here. It's got an antique leg vise attached to the front. But what a character piece of furniture that is. I love that. Not quite sure what you do with it. But it's, a, it's a work of art, isn't it? Look at that, you, don't, you wouldn't want to restore that. That's wonderful. Lovely old barrel there, that's nice. Um, we've got <laughs> just things everywhere, aren't there? It's a, this is lovely. It's a French um, chaise or day bed there with a carved wood frame. Um, the cushion's upside down on that one. Needs reupholstery, really. I should think that is the original silk upholstery, but it does need redoing. But what a beautiful shape. It's lovely. Um, more rugs down here and antique furniture. That's a beautiful um, occasional table. Mahogany and marquetry inlaid table goes with that chair. Two 18th century blanket chests over there. A vintage kayak. <laughs> Never know what you're going to see next in here, do you? Might need that before too long. <laughs> this weather keeps on. And that's it. There's absolutely masses of it. We go up to about 1,700 lots this month, uh, but fortunately spread over two days, so not quite the uh, the uh, elongated um, sale that we had last year. So as I said, the sale is on Wednesday and Thursday, uh, first week of next year. So we're looking at, where are we, the 10th of January, is the Thursday for the furniture. So I'll go through it in, in full. So the viewing is on the Saturday before the sale. So now we're closed into the new year here. So then we come back to Saturday viewing from nine till one. And then the Monday, uh, which I think is on the 7th, Monday the 7th of January, 
I think, <laughs> from 9 till 5, the Tuesday from 9 till 7, and then the Wednesday the sale starts at 10 in the morning, and then Thursday for the furniture at 10 in the morning. It's all a bit new to me at the moment, so that's why I'm a bit unsure about it. But uh, today is our last day at work, so hopefully when you're looking at this, web this uh, video over Christmas, uh, hopefully you've got other things to do as well apart from watching this video. Uh, so we've got this, the catalogue is online now, so please do have a look through the catalogue and then the, uh, as I've explained already, I won't go through all those opening days again, but uh, if you are watching this over Christmas, please have a great time and we look forward to seeing you for a busy new year. Thank you very much for everything.